Hello, my name is Tehani Gagodish-Bir. I'm the Plant Pathology Research Specialist at the Williston Research Extension Center. I'm also a graduate student with the NDSU Plant Pathology Department. My research project and much of the work I do here at the center focuses on Fusarium root rot, uh, understanding Fusarium root rot on peas and lentils. This disease is a major concern to the pulse producers in this area as it can cause yield losses for up to 70%. The disease symptoms consist of these brown to black lesions on the tap root, starting from the seed attachment point, then spreading throughout the whole root system as a disease progresses. Nodulation may also be reduced under high uh, disease severity and uh, the plant becomes chlorotic in wilts and yellow irregular patches of um, wilted plants may appear in the field uh, especially in the low laying area where water collects and um, plants are disease are stressed the most. The best way to manage Fusarium root rot is prevention and your crop rotation is your first line of defense. A four to five year of crop rotation between peas and lentils is recommended in order to reduce the pathogen inoculum buildup in the soil. Also, choosing a well-drained field as well as uh, planting a good uh, seed with uh, disease-free, good quality seed and um, avoiding, uh, crop, uh, the, avoiding the compaction of the soil really helps reducing the root rot damage. There are also seed treatments that are available um, to manage early uh, fusarium root rot and dampen off and uh, the recommendations for registered fungicide can be found in the NDSU uh, pulse crop disease management guides. Um, we are un looking at another management, uh, cultural management strategy to prevent against fusarium root rot, uh, which is plant and date. We are collaborating currently with researchers from the Carrington Research, Ex Research Extension Center. Um, and we are evaluating uh, pea and lentils uh, for, uh, we are evaluating the effect of plant and date and seed treatments on peas and lentils uh, on a severity of Fusarium root rot. And um, the data from 2018 and 2019 experiments has shown that um, early planting uh, significantly reduces root rot uh, of severity on peas. Another important preventative measure um, to control Fusarium root rot is genetic resistance. However, there is no complete resistance to Fusarium root rot in peas and lentils and the um, commercially available cultivars. Uh, but we are looking, uh, we are collaborating with breeders from North Dakota State Universities and uh, Montana State University in order to uh, screen uh, genetic varieties uh, for Fusarium root rot. And that should speed up the process of um, developing uh, varieties with improved uh, genetic resistance to Fusarium root rot. A part uh, to the challenge of developing uh, resistant varieties to Fusarium root rot is that this disease is caused by a species complex meaning that it's caused by several different Fusarium species um, that may not uh, ne necessarily uh, cause the disease in the same manner. Uh, thus, varieties with a, a, a resistance to one Fusarium species does not necessarily mean that it has resistance to all the Fusarium species. Um, NDSU, previous NDSU surveys have found that um, Fusarium avanaceum is the primary causal agent of uh, root rot in, on pea in North Dakota, but they also found other uh, different species um, associated with root rot on peas, and um, those, uh, an example is uh, Fusarium uh, acuminatum, Fusarium um, oxysperum, and Fusarium graminearum. My research work under the co-advisory of Dr. Uh, Julie Pashi and Dr. Audrey K. Lyle seeks to understand the importance of 
uh, Fusarium oxysperm in contributing to this um, disease, root rot disease complex on P. And so I, uh, I conducted uh, greenhouse assays in order to um, compare different Fusarium oxysperm isolates uh, to Fusarium avanaceum. Um, so I infected pea seeds with several different Fusarium oxysperm isolates and I compared them to Fusarium avanaceum and uh, looked at the disease severity and found that several uh, Fusarium oxysperm isolates were as aggressive or even more aggressive than Fusarium avanaceum. These results should um, help the breeders uh, consider uh, Fusarium oxysperm in uh, their plants in developing resistance to Fusarium rutrat on peace. Thank you. Mm -hmm.